hello, uh, this is Brad. I am uh, <clears throat> going to show you today how to open up um, a .csv file um, from SPSS and read that data in so that we can analyze it and uh, do projects for the course. So um, I'm on a Mac and uh, so I have this menu bar at the bottom. This is SPSS right here. It actually takes a little bit of time to open and I didn't want to bore you in the video, but uh, by clicking on this, um, it should open up a screen that's pretty similar to this. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right here and click on open and it will give you this kind of uh, normal uh, directory that you're, you're used to seeing. Um, I've put a bunch of uh, folders on my desktop into OLPD8087 and I think that that should be a good strategy for everyone in the course um, for reasons that I'll explain later. Um, but if we go in here, it's going to look as though um, there aren't any files in there, but it is looking for the native SPSS file type, which you can see right here is .sav. Um, and all of the raw data in this class will come as .csv, which is a comma separated format. So um, you can either scroll down and go to all files, and you'll see a couple there. Or uh, if you're looking for something specific, this uh, text will also show the same ones. Those are .csv files. For this first exercise, why don't we open up the baby names database? Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that and click open. You can also double click, of course. And what it's going to do is it's going to bring up this uh, text import wizard. And it's basically going to ask you a series of questions. And uh, it's fairly easy to just step through and make sure your data gets loaded in properly. But uh, first what you'll notice is that there is an example of your uh, data set down here. And these are separated by commas. So you can see these uh, commas here are breaking out the different uh, the different columns. But first it's going to ask, does it match a predefined format? And you can set that up in SPSS, but for now the answer to that is no, and we're going to hit continue. Um, the, uh, very, uh, how are the variables arranged? Um, they are uh, comma delimited, so you can see that right there. Um, so we're going to set it with delimited, and then are the variable names included at the top of the file? Yes, they are. Um, and I will do everything I can to make sure that all of our uh, data files that we use in this class are tidy like this, where it's one record per row, and where each um, variable is in its own column, and where uh, the name of the column is the very first row. So we're going to hit continue. Um, this is going to give you the, the option of uh, how many cases you're going to want to bring in. So um, each line does represent a case. And we're going to go ahead and bring in all of the cases. Um, this is a fairly big data set, so uh, be prepared for that. Um, so we're going to hit Continue. And then it's going to ask you how the data are formatted. But you can see right here, year, sex, name, n, which is the total number, and uh, the proportion. Um, those all look to be, that's a fairly tabular, fairly clean looking data format. So I think we're in good shape. Sometimes you'll see that space or others are checked, but for a comma format, you just want to leave it as comma, and the double quote looks good. We're going to say continue. Now, in step five, they're going to give you the option of, um, of changing these variable types. And that's something that we can do now. We can also do it later. Um, for the time being, let's just work on getting a data file in here, and then uh, maybe later we can get a little bit more fancy. So we're going to hit continue one more time. And then it's going to ask you uh, this, uh, this final question, and this is something that is going to be foundational for our course, is the concept of reproducibility. So any time that it's going to ask us, would we like to paste the syntax, the answer to that is going to be yes. We are always going to want to paste the syntax, and I will show you exactly what that does. So it seems like we're in good shape. Let's hit, the, let's hit uh, done. And if you look over here, what it's produced is it's produced this syntax file. And the syntax are basically um, computer script instructions that um, tell SPSS exactly what, um, what it should be doing. Um, and so all of that was written into computer code. This probably looks a little bit scary, and I promise you we will not, in this course, be spending any time writing code or really any time interpreting it. <clears throat> but it's absolutely critical that throughout this course that you maintain your code so that you can reproduce exactly what it was that you did. So we just built this little script and it hasn't done anything yet. So what you want to do is highlight it and then just like a little uh, DVD player or VCR or whatever, you just want to hit the run selection and it's going to go through and show you that it's doing a bunch of work. Um, 
And the final result is that it pulled in all of this data. And so now you can see uh, that uh, the variables that we asked for, year, sex, name, n, and proportion are all loaded in and uh, that you're set to go.